If you're anything like me, you have a dream of owning a Lamborghini or some sort of supercar that gives you an absolute thrill. So do I, of course, but I'm on a mission to trade up to a goal which is much easier to achieve. But with that in mind, these are still very expensive vehicles, which is why I'm going to try and get myself a Volkswagen Transporter van with just £500. <laughs> to get maximum return on this car, we need to make sure that every inch of it is looking spick and span. Hopefully, I'm not about to get robbed. After listing this thing on Facebook for sale at £2,000, the response from it has been actually quite overwhelming. I've had people in a bidding war, had three people bidding against each other to try and buy this thing. But today we have got a young girl coming to view it. After educating her with the bidding war that is going on with this thing, I'm praying that she's going to fall in love with it enough to take it for full asking price. Getting us around a £1,000 profit on this thing, but we won't know until she comes. So, fingers crossed for me, we get this thing sold today. Even if it's not for £2,000, as long as we make a profit, that's fine by me. After listing the Fox for sale on Facebook, I had this couple come yesterday to have a look at this car as a potential first car for their son. Well, they liked it that much that today, they came back with their son in the hope to take it away. We had agreed a price of £1,850, but we did come to another arrangement later on. Now that's because the wheel arch trim was missing on the driver's side. I'd agree to fix it for them and get it sorted at that price, but then they did find out the insurance and tax was going to be more expensive. So instead of doing that, I knocked £100 off and they actually took the car for £1,750, which I think is a really good deal. And just like that, the Fox is gone. So let's have a look how much the Fox actually made us. But before we do that, we need to have a look at a couple of things. There's a couple of more things we need to add to our expenses list before we can boast about how much money we might have made on this thing. 40 pounds. 39 pound and 95p. 1,000. And 88 pound and 75p. So we've broken that £1,000 mark, but I'm quite happy with that. So without wasting it any more time, let's have a look and see how much money we made on this thing. So we've made a grand total of £661.25p. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty chuffed with that. We now need to work out how much money that's brought us up to in our little kitty to see how much we've got to spend to go and buy our next car. So we're going to start with £1,275.22p because that's how much we had before we bought the Fox. Minus £1,088.75p for how much we spent on the little Fox getting that ready leaves us for £186.47 but then we can add £1,750 which means we've got a grand total of drum roll please £1,936.47p Now that's really going to help us get that next stepping stone to get us one step closer to buying our dream transporter but before we worry about what's coming next Let's recap of what we've just done. Check out the whole history surrounding the Fox before we got to this point. It's 4.37 in the morning. Bought ourselves a VW Fox. After leaving the house at half past four this morning, spending about seven hours bumming seat driving, we finally made it home with the little Fox. First issue with this thing is, well, we can't read the mileage off the odometer. I think if this doesn't work, I might end up drinking it. The wings dented, the doors dented, the sill 
is also dented. The rear quarter has been scuffed and someone's actually painted it, I think with the Sharpie pen. The steering doesn't work properly. The new wing has turned up for the little fox. Big crash bar for Mr. The Yard. Which is why I've bought a new power steering pump, which isn't off a Volkswagen Fox. We've had a delivery. We're at a point now where the paintwork on the Fox is looking absolutely awesome. And I think they look absolutely awesome as well. I think we might have sort of done it. Oh, well, that is a wrap on the little Fox. It's amazing how far we've come with the little fox from start to finish. Getting this thing sold for such a good profit, we doubled our money. But we need to go and get the next car because we've got to do it all over again. So come with us. You didn't really think that I was going to put that in this video as well, did you? You can't have it all. We'll have to come back next week to see what we buy. See ya. If you have enjoyed the video guys, be sure to smash that subscribe button so it really does help the channel grow. But until next time, you're gonna have to wait to find out what car we buy next.